uh, long four boots, fuzz demo. Today we're looking at the Frederick FX Green Russian Big Muff. It is a title that tells you all you need to know. It is a uh, clone and a variation uh, on the classic tank-like uh, Big Muff. You've got all the controls you'd expect to see on a Big Muff. We've got the volume, we've got the tone, we've got sustain, AKA gain. Yes, let's get straight down to it first. This is what the clean sounds like. This is the bridge. We've got the middle. And we have the neck. I'm going to go back to the bridge pickup. Uh, so sustain's kind of low at the moment. We've got the tone uh, about two o'clock. Let's see how we sound. So you've immediately got that classic muffy rippiness. Actually, uh, the sustain down at this end is kind of quite uh, uh, conservative and actually quite a lot of uh, picking dynamics that you can actually get away with, which uh, as people familiar with muffs know that once you get up near the top of the sustain, ain't gonna happen. Uh, let's uh, move the sustain a bit further up. Let's go to 12 o'clock and see what happens. We'll stick with the bridge to begin with. Immediately things are getting a bit chewier. crank that sustain up. Stick with the neck pickup because things are getting chewy on the neck pickup which I like a lot. <laughs> For a big muff, this is really, really dynamic. Um, a lot of big muffs by this point, you'd be pretty much all out. Speaking of pretty much all out.
So cleaning up with the volume knob, roll it just past halfway back. Really cool. Uh, it's much more dynamic than a lot of muff pedals that, uh, that a that we've got and b that I've played through. Um, cranked up all the way, you get this beautiful woody attack. Um, let's see what we can do with the tone control. I'm going to leave the sustain up full because I think then you get a better idea of what the tone control is doing anyway. Uh, I'll just stick with the bridge pickup because um, I'm enjoying the bridge pickup today. Um, I'm enjoying the neck pickup as well. I'm enjoying them all with this pedal. Okay, so let's uh, have a look around the tone control. Uh, let's put it back to uh, all the way back round there. interested that's usually where I put tone controls on a big muff that's my go-to spot and it doesn't disappoint on this pedal let's continue on round <laughs> It's the classic kind of big muff tone stack. No real um, unusable spots on this one. I think sometimes on some big muffs, depending on how the tone stack's set up, uh, either end uh, can be sort of either too muffled or too brash. It gets really brash up at the top end, uh, but it doesn't get like overly harsh. And I suspect sort of in the context of a mix or in fact in a live band, it will cut through really nicely all the way around at the uh, bassiest side. Um, doesn't lose uh, sort of all clarity, which is which is really really cool. Um, we'll just try sweeping through the tone stack with a bit more of a conservative uh, sustain. See how that sounds. <laughs>
cool all the way around, but for me, on like on a lot of big muffs, I kind of like everything set like this and just to uh, just play it octaves over an open string. What can I say? You know, uh, I'm a Smashing Pumpkins fan, but I just can't help. It. Yes, I know that it's the wrong start of Big Muff for playing Smashing Pumpkins, but hey. You didn't, so, you didn't do it. Was like, okay, yeah, I know, I know. So yeah. Air drums and shit. Uh, I think in terms of, uh, in the family of Big Muffs, what we've got here is a, a darker muff. Yeah. I would say a, a, a lower gain muff than, than, than some, but it's got that beautiful woody quality. Uh, the tone control is really useful all the way around, uh, and it's green, which always helps. Mm. Um, it uh, could, I'd say I... Like unlike a couple of the other big ones I've played with, I've on this one actually been leaning more down this kind of area. Cause normally I'm like here and maxed out, but this has been a lot of fun playing it around a bit lower. Yeah, it actually sounds really good on bass as well. I'm sure, we'll get around to a bass demo of it at some so. point. I mean, I've played it mainly on bass really up until recently, but it's been a yeah, it's a great little pedal. Yeah, so uh, check out uh, Frederick Effects, uh, great website. Check out all of their uh, yeah. their pedals. There's Amazing some really range. really good yeah. stuff on there. Um, check out our demo of the Demon Fuzz, for example, which is which another is a, one of a uh, perennial favourite of ours. Absolutely, uh, that's on the channel already. As always, uh, head to our Bandcamp page, longfullboots.bandcamp.com, for free musics. And uh, Facebook and dot com slash longfullboots. Long that's yeah. it. Yeah, we'll and put uh, links in the description. Like and... this video, subscribe to the channel for more Fuzz videos. We've got a, a, a couple lined up uh, uh, to come. Um, Let us know what you think. We're, uh, we've been getting a lot more comments lately, so yeah. We enjoy that, so keep it up. Cool. Let us know what's up. Bye. Yeah, bye. Thumbs up.